I'm Dr. Philip Flexen. As ear, nose, and throat doctors, one of the common things we do is we remove tonsils, and sometimes tonsils and adenoids. Sometimes I get asked, well, what's the purpose of tonsil tissue, or what's the purpose of tonsils and adenoids? Do they have a purpose? And indeed, they do. Tonsil tissue, uh, which is what makes up our tonsils or our polyteen tonsils, and what makes up our adenoids, which is also the nasopharyngeal tonsils, are uh, tissues that uh, process germs and uh, help us make antibodies uh, to fight infections. However, it's one of the areas where God designed us uh, with to have an abundance of tonsil tissue. So in fact, it makes a whole ring of tonsil tissue around the entry into our um, oral pharynx we call Waldar's ring. It turns out we have millions and millions of cells in Waldar's ring. And so when we take the tonsils and adenoids out, we're taking just a small portion of those millions of cells, and there are plenty of cells to continue the function and the immune surveillance of Waldar's ring. Now what happens when a tonsil needs to come out? Why does sometimes it cause infections? Well, it turns out in this ring of tonsil tissue, the one portion of the tonsil has a capsule in it, and those are called the palatine tonsils. And a capsule is if you want to think of saran wrap wrapped around it. And when we have the bad luck of getting infections, they scar and make crypts and pits and, and catch bacteria and food. And instead of fighting an infection, they become a source of infection. Ergo, we remove them.